So today we are going to talk about email templates in Dynamics 365. These email templates are nothing but uh, pre-designed email messages that we can create once and save it for later use. Suppose we can we are creating a, a email templates for a new account opening in the bank and we have another templates for debit card credit card and multiple things. So we do not have to write the same email uh, body again and again we can simply create a template and we can use it whenever we want so if I have to show you uh, see you can either uh, This is the sales trial you can so you can go for uh, any of your environment Just go to go to the advanced setting the main advantage of this email template is that uh, it helps to reduce our work and increase our productivity also it, it, it can help you to reduce the errors as you are not typing it again and again so simply it will help you to maintain a standard for the email templates so under the setting if you go here we have templates and here email templates so here you will see already microsoft has provided some email templates by default so either you can choose any of the existing template or you can create a new one so here we are going to create a new one so this is from the classic view now suppose if you are using make you are into the make power app portal then there we have different environments right suppose if I show you here you can see environment currently I'm using dynamics power same we have customer service sales trial yes uh, different different so just select your environment and go to the admin center if you go to the admin center the steps are different for both classic view and power app so I'm showing you both here under this one go to the environment from the left pane and select your environment it's loading once you select the environment then in uh, under the setting we have we will get the same thing like templates so click here go to setting here we should be getting that email templates here we have the templates and just go under the email templates okay so now see this both will lead you to the same interface email templates now here if I have to show you suppose let's go to any contact I'll show you how the email template works suppose if I'm going for the Alex Baker and uh, go to the activities under the activities we'll try to create an email email now here if you see we have the option to insert email so just click on the insert email and uh, these are the existing email which are already provided or created by the Microsoft so if I select this one follow up when contact don't show up so as soon as you select one the preview will be shown here and even you can edit, once you select it you will be able to edit this template suppose contact reconnect these are the provided ones so in the same way we are going to create a new one also uh, suppose these are just uh, the text format now if you want to put any dynamic content like uh, we have uh, contact number address phone number email job title some different different uh, fields that also you can put inside this template so i'm going to show you that just cancel it okay first let's apply any of the template for the namesake account reconnect apply and here it is here so you can see this is also this one is coming by default signatures i'll show you this also insert signature if you click here you can create the signature and you can select your uh, signature from here it will come here so now we are going to create a new email template go to new button and here you will see template type global uh, see we have already existing this leads opportunity contacts accounts and all so here either if you are if you have any specific uh, entities then you can select from here lead or account opportunity anything or if you have any custom entity then you can select the global one and then you can create one so first I'll show you with the existing one like with the account and then I'll show you the global one so let's click on ok Let's give a name 
dynamics dynamics account Uh, and permission level here we have two one is organization one is individual suppose if you are choosing individual then a template only will be used by you or by the owner not by uh, other person will not be able to see the template but if you are selecting organization then whoever is in your organization they will be able to use your template so we'll choose we'll go with the organization and here also the any name dynamics account template okay now here I'm going here you can also select the dynamic here insert dynamic text so select here whenever you choose uh, the uh, like related entity like account contact or anything then you will be able to select you will be able to put the details of the related entity as well so I have selected account and uh, let's give it as uh, here first name Okay. Okay. Right now we'll just choose any of okay, account name is here. Select. Once you select here, you'll be able to see the account name will be in the subject once we create it. Now hello. Hello and here we'll put the dynamic content as from account name okay and uh, we'll put another field as email 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 of now suppose we have the account and here if you go to any account we'll see the related contact as well so if I select a datum corporation, you will see primary contact is Kevin. Okay. So now I want to put the details of Kevin as well. If you go to Kevin, here in the Kevin we have job title and account name, first name, blah blah blah. So I'll put the email address and job title. So let's come here. We'll put the email address, contact. Email. Okay. Now I want job title. Job title as. So here we are just trying to put the details from all these three entity: account, contact, and user. Okay. Job title. Okay. This is done now, and uh, I'm going to save it now. Save. This is the template created now now we'll go to account and we'll try to insert the template a datum corporation go to related activity and we'll try to create an email and choose an existing template here you can see by default this signature is coming because i have created a signature as well i'll show you at the end of the video so as of now let's go to insert the template dynamics template okay, it is not reflecting maybe you need to save it save and close cancel insert template okay here it is dynamics account and you can see in the preview hello this is the name this is the email address and this is the job title as soon as you apply now it will be reflected here and you can edit as well so this is with a global uh, global email template now if i have to show you with with the any particular template then uh, with the global one so let's select global earlier it was with a particular one like uh, quote order invoice case you can select anything and you can go on so now we'll go with the global one select global now the advantage of global is that you can use your 
custom entity here whichever is not existing in the in the list then those entity you can add it here so let's come here dynamics global organization and the same thing now if you try to insert the element here you will not be able to see a related type only user will be able to see like uh, lead opportunity account contact and all will not be visible here so you can select the user from here and you can click on insert but right now i'm just going to leave it now in the insert here we'll just try to i i'll use contact so in order for this putting this dynamic we have some certain syntax as well syntax is here if you see here we have single line of text entity logic name first we have to write the entity name schema name and then we have to give the uh, this field name as well so here i'll just give hi contact contact and let's give first name first name okay let's just set regards regards now here we have one more thing uh, if you want to attach any template that also it is possible just here we have the option to attach template as well uh, where is it it was there just give me a second okay first we'll uh, and also here we have the option to attach the uh, image so browse select any of the image insert and uh, let's just make it normal size okay this is done as soon as you save it as soon as you save it this uh, here it will be marked in the green one okay if it's if you if your syntax is correct then it will be highlighted one now here you have the option to new attachment as well so we'll just go with the new attachment power automate open this uh, okay now just save and close name was dynamics global now we are going to again go in the uh, now let's just go in the anything opportunities click on any opportunity and in the this is global one so here go in the activities new activity email and we'll select the template which we created just now with dynamics global here we have and now you can see hi it was uh, contact first name which is dynamics uh, sorry hi alex and this is uh, the image which we attached along with this the template also so attachment also it should be visible here so once we selected this here you can see the attachment power automate pdf so you don't have to come and attach in like suppose you are sending a debit card application or credit card application so you do not have to attach this attachment all the times and you do not have to give your this signatures or sms whatever the details again and again simply come here insert the template whichever is whichever is your related and just insert it that's all now coming with the insert signature see here if you come here by default this one was coming if i so come back for the signature also you have to go under the setting and in the templates we'll be getting signatures as well email signatures this is the dynamics power signature now click on the new one this one i have made it as default to and whether you you want to make it as default or not if you if you click on default yes then whatever email you are trying to create by default that one will be uh, in your template but i am going to set as no and 
regards Dynamax. Save and close. Refresh it. Dynamics 2 is here and we are, I'm just going to disable this one which I have selected by default yes no save and close now suppose if I'm if I'm coming anywhere and if I try to create a new email then in the signature insert signature currently nothing is there right so just click on insert signature and you can select your signature from here dynamics to select here it is coming like this same way insert template and uh, just choose any of the existing template follow up and ta -da, it's done so this is all about email templates of dynamic 365 i think there are some limitations as well you cannot insert two different entities inside one template like if here it is the global uh, global template and if I want to, you have two custom entities, one let's say as um, work and one say as house. So here you can put, if you are putting the details of house, then you will not be able to put for the work. I think this is, this is one of the limitations of email templates in Dynamic 365. So if you have any other doubts, you comment it below. I'll try to get it back. Thanks. Bye-bye.